these roll. I'm just going to middle mouse button click this, get more dissolves. So after the first one, the first dissolve can cover two images, but each um, uh, image clip that we need will need its own dissolve, so I'll need two more. One, two. So we're going to take the information from the first dissolve, pipe it in to the second one, and we're just going to do kind of like a daisy chain here. So this vector paint will go into this one, and like that, and like that. Cool. And then the last one will pipe into our image clip. So now we need a parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to hit, uh, oh, I have an explorer up already. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, actually I don't need the explorer, so I'm just going to hit shift P. Make a property or parameter. We'll name it texture update. I want my default value to be 1 my uh, minimum one, my maximum five. And uh, I don't want a floating point because I don't want to, I don't want in between information. I just want uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do integer, animatable, keyable, and we hit enter. So now we have a new custom parameter set. And it goes from one to five. Doesn't do anything yet, but um, <laughs> we'll be working on that right now. So let's go ahead and uh, do our first expression. I'm going to double click this dissolve. I'm actually going to hit uh, back up. There we go. Cool. Yeah, let's turn that on. All right. So uh, what I want, I want to uh, basically check to see what value this is. So within here, I'm going to click. Oh, I'm going to right mouse button click. Set expression. So we want a conditional. So we're going to go to function, condition, and uh, the condition that we want, we want to look for whatever this value is. So I'm going to take this and just drag it onto there, and you can see that uh, it updates that information. So we want to uh, look when this is 1, when this is 1, we want this to be at the value where it's going to show the 1 texture. So I'm just going to put equal, equal, whoops, got to make sure my mouse is in the right spot. Um, this is uh, equates to, and you can find this if you have no idea what your different uh, options are. You can go to function, conditions, and you can do equal to, less than, uh, these are your different uh, operators or operands for, uh, bu 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 uh, for your conditional. <coughs> we want to see if it equals 1, and if it does equal 1, this should be a 0. So this plug right here represents 0. And this plug represents one. So this goes um, for all the dissolves. So if this parameter, if my custom parameter equals one, we're going to want zero because that's where one is plugged into. So if it's true, we're going to put zero. And if it's false, I want it to default to the other guy. So then we'll just hit one. So we'll go ahead, uh, make sure to hit apply. So if it's 1, we have a 1, and if it's 2, we get our 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. So now we need to go ahead and do uh, do this for the next guy. So I'm going to double click this one, right mouse button click, set expression, or I can just double click this, copy animation. Copy animation. All right, double click, right mouse button click, paste animation. And now we're automatically going to have a problem because right now we have the same expression on both. So it's going to see if it's 1. And if it is 1, this input's going to be false. So it will only show a 3. All right. So if I go ahead to uh, let's close all these, it's getting kind of confusing. So if I go to my custom parameter, lock it, and then go to 1, uh, it will show a 1 because now this is true and it will show the 0 and this would be true so this information is piping through and it's letting this door open up so uh, if I go to one it will show one but if I go to two it will show three and if I go to three it will show three and so on it will always be three so what we want we want uh, we want this information let's go ahead and grab the right one double click click we want this to number one look to see if it's uh, 3. That's the value that we want to be true. Okay? 
and if it is 3 we want these to be flopped okay so if it is 3 we want it to look at this number not this one so we'll make the 0 equal 1 and then the 1 equals 0 so if this equals 3 turn this one off and then turn this one on which happens to be 3 so uh, we'll go ahead and hit apply let's see if it works 1 2 3 awesome so now I should be able to copy this animation come to this image double click or, or uh, go to the dissolve right mouse button click paste the animation and uh, we need to make sure it's uh, looking for the right number which happens to be four we'll hit apply so if we go to four it works one two three four cool and now we need to go to five right mouse button click paste animation click and let's make this a number five so we got one two three four and five so now everything is working now let's go ahead and uh, do our display our display info uh, basically how that works you just need a uh, you just need your custom parameter set to equal to have a uh, display info D with a capital D I S P L A Y and a capital I I N F O um, and you need to have uh, op uh, special options within your viewport so if we hit shift s you're going to want to go to stats show custom display info parameters so you can see now uh, it pops up well without a name but it pops up so in order to put a name we'll just change the name then you add something after the display info so we'll go texture update update y'all so you can see now texture update y'all is up here so if I come here change this come on I should be able to key in a number but if I change that to one you can see now we have a one and if I go into here texture update it changes now uh, this heads up display guy over here display info will only show up when you have the object selected with the display info uh, with the display info node um, within it so um, I probably would recommend not having the geometry selectable um, <laughs> for the animator so I probably would generate a null and probably uh, let's see if I can do this here grab this guy and just paste it and just copy it over to null so whenever you select the null um, it updates and then probably make the this guy unselectable visibility or however however you do it for yourself with a group or whatever so bam we have a nice solution here where we can uh, let's see grab a null where we can have our animations update well actually I kind of broke the solution so if anything I would have my display uh, my parameters on uh, by default because right now it's looking for the parameter within uh, within the grid so my all my expressions broke so let me just bring this back to the grid and then uh, make my grid selectable again sorry I am wasting everybody's time <laughs> so if I grab this guy double click there Oh well. Uh, well, hopefully uh, you found this to be useful, and um, if you have any other questions, don't be afraid to ask. Awesome.